Your Hardware Canucks 2014 CES coverage is brought to you by NCIX, technology connected. All right, so we're here at the LG booth at CES 2014. I think this is the central hall. I kind of lost track of exactly where the hell we were. But one of the things that I want to talk to you guys about was when we first entered this booth, we saw what I'm going to step out and actually say that this was the best 3D that I have ever seen. That includes 3D that I've seen in theaters. This is the first one that actually doesn't hurt my eyes and make me feel sick. It was vibrant, the colors were fantastic, and I felt like it was like right in front of my face. There's a point where there's a tiger paw coming right at you, and it felt really, really sweet. Because it was like right there, you could see it like the hair moving a little bit. It was very, very, very well done. So moving on from the 3D that we saw today, we also saw some pretty innovative and I didn't actually think it was possible, but a flexible OLED IPS panel. So basically, depending on what the situation is, the viewing situation is in your home, you can adjust the panel to either be curved for a few people so that the viewing angles are very direct, or you can flatten the panel out so you can have much more wide viewing angles if let's say you're having a Super Bowl party or something like that, that everybody else wants to be able to view the content. So it's a very flexible TV and it's able to be flexible, which is really, really, really cool. Another really sweet thing that we've seen today is the web OS. Now this is a very functional operating system for a TV and something that we haven't seen before. But if you think web OS, you might re recognize the name and it used to be the HP tablet software, but when HP decided that they were going nowhere with it, they made it basically open source. LG picked it up and actually made it into something very special. You're able to navigate through your OS using this air mouse or an air controller, which basically just acts as like a pointer. Um, you can connect it to the internet and it has an on-screen display that allows you to switch between apps, the TV and multiple different things all in real time without actually having any type of a stutter or any type of a change at all whatsoever. It's very intuitive, it's very quick and it's really, really, really efficient. Another really awesome thing that we've seen here today is uh, well basically another mobile and wearable tech option it's called the life band now this band is actually one of the ones that i'm really excited for it's probably going to be out in march at some point price points were not announced but it is one of those type of bands that has additional features and a lot of different options options that are interesting to the average consumer it's not only a fitness tracker but it's also a life tracker in the way that you can basically just customize your use of the band based on what you need. So music, you can read uh, text messages, you can um, see incoming calls. So it has a lot of different options and usability. So it won't just be a, a basic pedometer or fitness tracker like we saw from L one of LG's uh, competitors. Now, there is one more awesome piece of tech that we saw here, and it's a finger gesture system, which will basically allow you to control your TV by doing this and this. So you're able to basically mute your TV like this. How did you make it louder? If you wanted to raise the, uh, the audio of your TV, if you wanted to raise the volume, you would gesture your finger over to the volume button and you would basically just pinch on it. So you would allow, it would allow the TV's volume to raise. If you wanted it to mute, you would shush it and it would basically act on those commands. As well, it also includes some pretty innovative voice commands, you could say, find me Simpsons, and it would go and find Simpsons wherever it's playing on your cable or on the air network, as long as it's plugged into the TV. So guys, thank you for taking a look at our LG coverage here at CES 2014. And I'd like you to like this video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't like it, because well, it's, I want you to engage with us and you help us create better content when you do so. Subscribe to our videos for more CES 2014 coverage, and guys, make sure you check back, because there's a lot more to see we got a whole other hall that we're going to be checking out, so check back.